the more you okay. can carry. Be sure to know your limits, or you may find it challenging to escape from hazardous scenarios. No matter how strong you are, there are other situations where you may find yourself in close proximity to unfriendly neighbors. For such cases, you must learn to defend um, yourself. Anyway, hello, hello everybody. So I'm going to be starting my Fallout 4. Let's play on Twitch. If you couldn't tell by all that lovely stuff that was going on. Uh, so... Doo -doo -doo. So anyway, I'm looking forward to doing this, most definitely. Uh, this will be like the first time I've actually like played played Fallout 4. I have played it at a gaming arena, sorry by the way that I'm talking in the cutscene, but I played it and I played it at a gaming arena where they let you like kind of borrow games and then play them, so that's pretty much that. But without further ado, I think I am going to switch on over, obviously to Press any button to start, okay. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna play Fallout 4. Um, the videos will be exported onto YouTube. Yes. The videos will be exported onto YouTube in uh, 15 minute segments just via the automatic Twitch stuff. So, you know, there's that. But, I am looking forward to seeing how my adventure with Fallout 4 is gonna go. The nice thing about Bethesda games is you can always like make a run different from any other runs so this will be my first run and i don't know if i'll come back to it anytime soon but maybe in the future i'd do a second run or something like that who knows but yeah if you want to see me play fallout 4 feel free to go to my twitch like see me play it live before the videos obviously you know come out uh just gonna unplug that I don't know what's I got like a cord mess going on here kind of not good war hello said a crim war never changes there's a cutscene going on so you know you know how I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little quiet oh it's actually Lino. okay hello Lino. 45 my great-great-grandfather serving in the army wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen he got his wish when the US ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki the world awaited Armageddon Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, 21st century people awoke from the American dream years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource the entire world unraveled peace became a distant memory it is now the year 2077 we stand on the brink of total war and I am afraid for myself for my wife for my infant son because if my time in the army taught me one thing it's that war 
never changes. I feel like that's the opening to Modern Warfare 3. War never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Ooh, I could be an old guy. I'm gonna be an old guy. Yeah. There was a few games like that in the last few years. That's true. Hey, it's my turn, big guy. Let me just slide in here. <laughs> Mm, I'm actually happy with how I look. Just an old guy. Old grizzled gay, gray guy. Nora? Oh, hello. Ah, good morning, sir. Thanks, Kazuo. Of course, sir. Enjoy your coffee, sir. Codsworth. Another fine product of General Atomics International. Yeah, let Codsworth take care of it. <laughs> hey, hon. We should take Codsworth to be service soon, don't you think? Oh no, there's a baby crying. Hello, baby. Hello, Sean. How are you doing this? I'm playing with you. I tickled you. Why, I, you know, I don't understand how, why a circular saw is going to help a kid. That kind of makes sense because he's going to grab stuff, but a, is this a freaking flamethrower? How's a flamethrower going to help a kid? Seriously. Huh. How'd you get on the floor, Mr. Bear? I'm supposed to ask the bear how he got on the floor. Probably that salesman who comes for you every day. Hello. Good morning. Voltec calling. <laughs> the sound is uh Go on. Nice to find <laughs> you. It sounds so good that you it makes you think it's your own kid. Happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Uh, sorry, I was just checking to make sure OBS wasn't dropping frames. I'm here now. So you are. <laughs> so you are. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country... You have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> total atomic annihilation. I, just I like how he whispers it. Some information. That's all. Sure, let's do it. Splendid! Splendid. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, I got 21 points available. Hmm. We could just do rounded out stuff. Just go down the list. Make a wall-rounded character and then go from there, depending on 
how we happen to go through stuff. Yeah, I mean, let's go 444. Four, four. Oh, I need. Uh, I guess just NDP. A weird name, I know, but I usually, I rarely use my actual name. Wonderful. That's everything. I'm just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Oh no, the baby's crying again. Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Okay, I'll spin it. What is my actual name? Uh, that is a secret. That's actually not very secretive. I think I've di disclosed it before in my Listen, channel. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? Uh oh. I, I can't even escape the room. What am I supposed to do? Oh, okay. <laughs> My actual name's Nick. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have, we do have coming in. That's um. No, Nick, N I C. Reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear. Our Nicholas is actually my full name, but I just usually go by Nick because everyone just God. shortens it anyway. Oh my God! We, we need to get to the vault now. I've got time. Running, running, running. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate. I'm actually decently fast. By the way, Dan, how's my voice in comparison to the game sound? Is it good? That's absurd. I am not on the list. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop me. Oh, 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 okay, okay. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, you two, follow me. Come on, kids. What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Okay. Step on the platform in the center. You Almost hold that there. baby, okay? We're gonna be okay. I love you, both of you. We love you too. Oh my God! Ooh, it's a mushroom cloud. Radiation kill us from this point. Decided to multitask again. Work and listen. Nice. Do I have both Sedicram and, and her boyfriend? Talk about slowest emergency elevator. I know, seriously. Wouldn't the radiation have killed us at this point? I mean, I'm an old man. I don't got long to live anyway. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to Mr. Worry, Russell, folks. Mr. Abel, we'll get everyone situated in your Mrs. Abel, Mr. Whitfield, Mrs. Whitfield, Mr. Russell, was Mrs. Russell? So we just <laughs> up the stairs. They can talk to each other <laughs> through their own Twitch. That's hilarious. No, no, we don't. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe. You're now. safe now. Oh, look at all the vault people. Wait, how did these people get down here? Wasn't there only one emergency elevator? This way. This way, please. Step over to the table. You'll need your suits before we uh, can take you further. Thanks. What now? 
Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. You sound... This is our new home. You sound like oh, you're gonna a lie. really trustworthy guy, I'm not this gonna lie. One of our most All right, you two, just follow me. Thanks. Great, mind you. Well, it's gone. Our home. You're super Everything trustworthy, dude. I'm, I'm gonna walk out like a crab home. right now, right next to you. Stare at me. Excuse me. Follow me. Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Oh, sorry, I crab walked into a wall. Get through first. Don't you think? The bald suit is designed to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? I've seen like the first like probably two hours of this game. Some of it was just exploring though. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Okay. Fits like a glove. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five. Set of cram. You're gonna let Dan use your torch and get away with not making notification go off. This is the one. Here. Open it. Poor baby. I'm also this damn. It's now following me on Twitch. I thought Cinecrum was already following me on Twitch. Wait, did the notification not go off? Streamlabs. Streamlabs, how dare you? Nice. I'll get a twitch. Weird. My uh, streamlabs didn't want to tell me that I got a new <coughs> follower. why I'm the only one who wakes up <coughs> you're a giant freaking bug eventually mod this game well I'm on PS4 so I would have to pay for mods so, probably not. <laughs> Welcome back, Ilano. Giant roaches? What the hell? Okay, well, I mean, WTF. What do you mean, WTF? Wait. 
Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Giant freaking bugs. Hi, you found me, huh? I don't remember making the twitch. To watch LB. Oh, I see. I don't know why I'm taking all the raid roach meat. Let me just sit, comprehend all this for a little while. Oof, switch. Do it. Message. And also, don't forget to hit that follow button as soon as you get on your Twitch. Terminal's got this locked. Oh, I guess the terminal's right here. Whoops. Just knocking over stuff. Oh, hey, here we go. Alright, just give me a little bit. I'm gonna reset up my Streamlabs because I don't know why it wasn't given notifications. It's kind of weird. Oh, that's weird. On my on my Amazon Fire, Ileno's name is Blue, but on my desktop, it's Orange. Fascinating indeed. Let me copy the widget URL. Let me go to properties and reset this up. There. That'll take care of that. So now, it should be given notifications. That's lovely. How's it going? <laughs> it's going good, how about you? Nice, you guys are the right people. Well, don't forget to hit the follow button. It also kind of let me see if the stupid Streamlabs is working because sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. It's kind of like I intentionally set up all this, these follow notifications and tip notifications and all this so that when I stream, like people can see their names on the stream when they follow. But all right, Ilano is now following me on Twitch. Let's see if it pops up in Streamlabs. It better freaking pop up. I'm not hearing anything. Thank you. Last night at work, super excited. I'm stupid sore. Nice. I have to work tomorrow, so I don't get a day off. Yeah, thank you for following me, Ilano. I have my... Oh, there it goes. I just heard it go. There we go. Streamlabs is just lagging a bit, I guess. It's not instantaneous. I 
I don't know why I'm wasting all my time reading all this. I've read it before. I got 82 ammo. That's pretty good. Do you ever do face cam? Where do you work? I work at a hotel right now while I finish school. Once I finish school. Once I finish school, I will actually uh, be... Once I finish school, I will be working a regular job. I got a little distracted by the raid roaches. But uh, as for face cam, no, I don't usually do face cam. I pretty much leave face cam off just because I don't personally like, I don't feel, I don't react in games generally very often. So I don't feel it really adds anything. I just kind of have like a boring face to look at. So, I decided to not do face cam for that exact reason. Because my voice is always very interesting. Get off the doctor. Oh, I'm sorry, what was I supposed to do? Well, that guy's been dead a while. He's a skeleton. Thank you, I'm happy you think I have a great streamer voice. Where is everyone? Freaking raid roach just coming out of nowhere. I'll just rip it off this skeleton, because why not? Ah. Yeah, I mean, it's nice that you think I have a great streamer voice. I think my streamer voice is okay, but I don't know if I would call it fantastic. Okay, he only barely wiped the screen. Like, how do you... He barely wipes the screen, all of a sudden it just clears up. Cam, too much pressure. Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back. Okay, standing back. Definitely heard a lot worse. Yeah, I mean, there's like those 12 year old kids that stream. They're just like, hey guys, how are you doing? My name is uh, Mr. Beast 777 and I'm going uh, to show you how to play Call of Duty like a champ. <laughs> no offense to 12 year olds. Of course. But. I think the first time I actually played this I got myself killed. this point somehow? I'm not really sure actually. Then rage just cause of like, Mom, are you watching Netflix again? <laughs> yeah. Just Oh my gosh, Mom, I told you when I'm playing online you can't watch Netflix. <laughs> uh. 
There's no offense to 12-year-olds. It'd be cool if a 12-year-old followed me, but still. 